Wow guys, we have had the two most amazing days and we don't know how to start this video. We don't know how to explain to you guys the experience we have had here. We are at this organic farm, blackberry farm, but that's not it. They don't have only blackberries, they have apples, strawberries, uh, avocado, lemons, they have bees, they have so much, they have so much and it's all organic and the couple that owns the place are the warmest, nicest, most humble, down to earth persons we have met. The guy is an engineer and he's so smart, he have made his own app for watering his crops he have made this this technique of doing his crops that's just out of this world we have never seen anything like it like how can you uh, come up with these things by yourself he's an engineer yeah he's an engineer <laughs> <laughs> we got to come along making strawberry fields yes. in his farm i actually felt like i was uh it was, it was so well. They were so welcoming mm. <clears throat> that I felt like I was uh, a part at a, of their family almost. At like a dinner with my uncle. Yeah, <laughs> because we made a strawberry farm with them uh, from the scratch. Like we have to oh, dig up so the cool. soil, we have to plant the strawberries, we had to make these uh, holes in the ground and everything. He showed us everything, explained to us why we had to do certain things, uh, and it was just amazing. And Bastian got to he was uh, such a good teacher. He, yeah, yeah. Probably the best teacher ever. And he <laughs> got to drive the tractor. Did it was it a lot of fun? That was actually my first time driving a, a tractor. I've, I've driven uh, uh, trucks and, and things like that before, but uh, this was new and fun. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's always fun to learn new things like this strawberry uh, field and the best thing of, about it all was that after we were finished with the strawberry field, he went out in his garden and got potatoes and carrots and, and broccoli and a, a salad and made a dinner for us all and we are here together with a Danish couple the one we met in the last video if you have seen that one and we sat down eating this delicious home cooked meal it was actually so cool because uh, uh, he was like okay are we uh, making you guys want some potatoes and, and this and this and this and uh, okay and suddenly he started like making a, a some kind of a grill in yeah freaking he, 10 minutes and he made <laughs> his own grill <laughs> like it was uh, from the bottom it was just yeah. crazy oh my god guys these days at this farm have been amazing we have had so much fun this is what we have wanted to do from the start we meeting people learning new things and just yeah we have no words. I don't know how to describe it. I hope that these clips that you have been seeing and are seeing are showing how much fun we have had the few last days. We're so grateful. Thank you so much for this experience. Um, it, it really made an impact on us. Thank you. Bye guys. It's time to move on. We cannot stay here forever. We are driving further on. We're just gonna pack up the van and we're done hitting the road again. night in a new town in a new city called the Fidreira do Fus. It has a nice nice and long beach. With almost no people actually. No, uh, no, but it's it's probably because it's too big. It's, yeah. it's very long. You can see it all the way to the other side. We actually spent the night over there. So and then we free. drove another free parking just to eat breakfast and to walk Luca here on the beach. And he is playing, having a lot of fun. So we're heading back to our van right now. Actually, something happened to uh, to our van. It was my fault though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we drove from Coimbra to Fujreira the Fus with our great tank or open. 
yeah great time open so uh, and the stick that you open the great tank with in it so uh, we lost it on the way but, yeah you lost it, was, it. i lost it it was my fault <laughs> Sure, but he found plans. Bastian found a way to close it, and uh, now it's all. We didn't good. actually notice this uh, until, until now. We, uh, until now, until we went out for a walk. So, but it's okay. It's the first time something like that have happened. Yes. But we up. are going back home. So we haven't filled up our gas tank since we left Norway. We have two of them, and hopefully this place can fill up our tank and have the right adapter for our Norwegian gas tank so that we have two new full bottles for the rest of our trip. The other place that we stopped that we just showed you was a failure, or the man that worked there was so nice. He was trying to help us as much as he could, but he could not fill up our bottles because he didn't have the adapter and he didn't know where we could fill our bottles because we have Norwegian uh, gas bottles and a Norwegian gas system. And then we drove to another place and he could not either fill our gas bottle system. They recommended us though to switch over to find a um, repair shop and switch our system over to a German or a Spanish brand so that we can buy new bottles here and that it will be easier for us to uh, refill the bottles because the German uh, system is much more wide so they're using it many places in Europe so we're thinking actually now to see if we find a repair shop that has a German connector adapter or whatever it is called but that they are like a safe place to do it and that and, and that they are qualified to do so um, because so we frankly don't know what else to do and we are soon running out of gas so we uh, we drove to what is this place called? Leira. 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 And now we're thinking about uh, going up to this castle. There are actually elevators that take you up all the way up. But we don't know if Luca is allowed on the elevator, so we're just going to take a chance. <laughs> Uh, Unless you, of course, pay. Paid. Or pay. Yeah. I don't know how much it was, but I don't think it's um, worth it. No. Can I? So we're going down and going into the city. <laughs> parking lot in Leiria. Actually, we were not supposed to be in this city. It actually is really spontaneous that we ended up here. And it's all because uh, we were really desperate to find a new jiu-jitsu club that Bastian could train with because his competition is on Saturday and today it's Monday. So he really needs to get some training in before the competition. And the city that we were in we didn't find any jiu-jitsu clubs that, that were open, but here we found a jiu-jitsu club where Bastian is going already in just a few hours. But now we need some food before we are both going to work out. I'm not doing jiu-jitsu, but I'm working out. He's doing jiu-jitsu. Here we so are, cold right now. late at night, it's almost 11 o'clock and we are filling water. You are filling water. Finally found a place where we could fill drinking water right here in this city or i don't i don't know if it's a city or town or whatever we will see in the morning what this town is all about it looks actually very 
very very nice so here it actually cost two euros to fill up the water tank this is the first time that we are paying for water we have only filled up the water tanks where it's been free like on camping sites and other places but at least it's drinking water it's so late it's almost 12 o'clock and Bastian is putting all his clothes where it belongs because we have been washing some clothes and we need we are, some we are, sorry to interrupt you but we are actually out of control right now we are just our our uh, schedule is just flying up and down and everywhere <laughs> everything is just a mess yes and we are eating like yeah something, something we're not supposed to see now <laughs> at 12 o'clock we have clothes everywhere just... i don't know. we need to get back in back in order and back in routines and yeah everything first, like first of all we needed toilet paper <laughs> we got toilet paper we got toilet paper and we needed water and we got water we got water and we needed a gas we didn't get gas <laughs> no we just used gas but we only have the gas we have so we are gonna eat a lot of yogurt <laughs> the next day so that we don't use up all the gas and salads and fruits and yeah. stuff like that but now we need to eat and go to bed so see you guys in the morning good morning guys <laughs> we are now in a new city we came here last night as you guys saw we got to fill up our water tank and everything and frankly the last couple of days have been a bit unstructured uh, do you agree what that the last couple of days have been a bit unstructured yeah it's been uh, all over the place all over the place we have used this morning to kind of just structure everything bastian have made a very very delicious breakfast we have contacted our uh, brand dealer where we bought our van back home in Norway and got some tips of what we're gonna do with this gas problem and we have finally figured it out. We are buying the connector to German bottles and we are going to switch that up in hopefully this during this week we will find a, a, a place where we can buy the things and get it installed. And our second problem is charging our macbook and they recommended an inverter that we can use while we are driving in the usb connector so we're going now to buy that one then we have fixed our electricity problem i don't even know if we told you about this problem but we have been really kind of irritated that we always have to find a place where we have electricity to charge up my computer for because our solar panels they charge up enough batteries to the whole van like for the fridge for a light for charging of phones but not to charge my computer so that we will fix today the gas problem ho hopefully will be solved in the next few days and then everything is good and we are back into routines and van life are good again so we have been learning so much about van life on the road because today it's first of february so we have been on the road for one month exactly That's and this crazy. month have just been crazy with learning learning new things every single day but hopefully this week we will get where we want to be so we're gonna finish up this video right here because we have been talking so much it's kind of just been a van really van life experience video but now we're gonna enjoy this breakfast it was so good and I'm then proud of myself <laughs> then we're heading out in the city and driving further on so guys oh, thank you so much for watching hopefully it's been interesting to watch this video if you if it was give it a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe down here and guys, we will see you next video on Sunday. Take care.